everyone, I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix level 100%. Um, so, we gathered all the evidence last time that we needed to prove Allison innocent? Allison. <laughs> Alice innocent. So, um, let's see here. Let's see if we can present this evidence. Are you ready to present? Yes. Very well. Council, step onto the podium. Now, show me what you found. Well, that's certainly a lot of evidence, but I'm still not impressed. Cards, bring forth my evidence. Alright, so whatever touches the ground first is the one that is the one that you actually want to choose. Obviously, I have like a really big margin of error. I have like an 80% chance of getting this right. Um, it was the one to the most to the right. Checking all five would be a waste of time. Alright, then choose the one you want to present. I'll decide who's guilty based on that evidence. What? After all that trouble of collecting it? You dare object? Then you will lose your head. Now, choose one box. You have anything else to say? You can only pick one. Choose carefully. Only one, huh? Get on with it. <laughs> no use stalling. Hurry up and choose. It's in your hands now. What if you leave? You better pick the right one. Of course, your guess is as good as mine. I wonder what happens if you leave. Will it let you leave? Oh, man! This game is honestly so freaking, like... This is, like, a time where you wouldn't expect to, like, leave or anything. But, yeah. Make up your mind already. But the game is actually, like, programmed to deal with things like that. That's so crazy. There's gonna be another instance of that. Anyways, I'm gonna choose this. Are you certain? No second chances? Yeah. Now, let's see what the real culprit is. Alright, it's the soldier. It's the soldier. What in the world was that? There's the evidence. Alice is innocent. Ugh. Silence, I'm the law here. Article 29. Anyone who defies the kilt is guilty. That's crazy. Seize them at once. Alright, so there's some neat tech that you can do in this fight that I want to show off. Um... Also, I'm a little bit sick today. I'm not sure if I'm going to stream still. So yeah, anyways. Okay. Cards, if they touch the tower, you will lose your head. You can attack her, and she will actually try to attack you. And you can see her underwear, and this kind of distracts the card soldiers, which is nice. Um, but you want to be careful, so... You don't want to die! Oh my god, this is not a good okay. You want to buffer jumps as much as possible? Oh god, yeah. I might. You know what? I don't really want to die here. I only have a high potion. I think I can buy high potions now, but. I feel like that took more hits to uh, do. I'm gonna attack you again for fun. <laughs> oh man. Alright, but yeah. You actually want to kind of attack it little by little if you want to get all the money and the drops from it because they will all just... Um... So yeah. There we go. You must have gotten kidnapped while we were fighting. You fools! Find the one who's behind this. I don't care how. Also, sorry if you guys hear noises outside. My neighbors just decide to like mow their lawn. Whenever I'm streaming, whenever I'm recording, whenever I'm doing something, they decide to do that. Um, so yeah, apologies for that. I guess we need to figure out what we're supposed to do next now. That's uh, kind of not the best. I just looked away for a moment and without defend that there's no trial. Find Alice and bring her here. The queen has spoken. Find Alice at once. Quit dawdling. Where'd that girl disappear to? Ow. Why'd you hit me so hard? You're the one who was attacking me. Alright, so if we go to the bazaar room here, I think we should have... Alright, also, Blizzard's kind of good with the dealing with Red Nocturnes, huh? Um... I think the Heartless are new now. There are some specific Heartless I'm trying to um, 
go after. Actually, let's see if the uh, rabbit hole heartless have changed yet. Oh yeah, these guys are different. Um, I think, yeah, large body was not here earlier. So now it's impossible to obtain the first rabbit hole chest. So that's why you want to be careful. You want to be sure that you obtain that beforehand because it's impossible. To get. See ya. Oh god, oh god, ah! Yeah, by the way, I never really got, like, around to explaining this, but, um, mob fights are generally more dangerous than, um, yeah, mob fights are more dangerous than, um, for the most part, mob fights are more dangerous than actual, like, bosses in level 1, so yeah. Anyways. Oh yeah, this is the spawn I wanted. That's what it's fine. Alright, so uh, I need to grind a total of 38. Um, so I'm gonna actually be doing that here. Now that I finally have like a good opportunity to like take down the shadows. Um, this is actually part of like a special heartless, the first special heartless in the game. But we are not equipped to deal with that at all at this point in the time. So. Blizz is this good because you can attack him as well. Heartless at once is good. can't really damage them on level 1 right now, so I'm not even going to bother. But yeah, those are the Heartless I'm going to want to farm Lucid Shards off of, so I'm going to start doing that. You know what, I might as well grab the Rabbit Hole chest before I forget. Let's actually go do that. This we have plenty, actually have a much longer cutoff to get this, but still, might as well get it now. And there we go. We got that second chest over here, and this has a mega potion. So yeah, neat that we were able to get that as well. Gonna try and grind for loser charts now. Oh, also the stove. The stove. Uh, this game just does not want to... I don't know why shadows are just refusing to respawn at the moment. Uh, but yeah, the stove isn't, um, isn't lit anymore. I, everything in the bazaar room, I think, gets reset, so... Yeah, that gets reset afterwards. But I will be blowing Blizzard on it during the Trick Master fight. Man, the shadows really don't want to spawn. Alright, you know what? Let me... Alright, so shadows are just not spawning at all. Let me just kind of go in advance a little bit and see if that helps. Let's go to Lotus Forest and see what's going on here. That boulder, it's important. We need to keep our that in our head. Have you seen Alice? Alice, no. Shadows, yes. Where did they go? This way, that way, does it matter? Left, right, up, down. All mixed up thanks to the shadows. Step deeper into the forest to the deserted garden. You might find shadows in the upside down room. So that's the bizarre room. Like, essentially the uh, the different version of the bizarre room. Um, Blizzard is a pretty good magic uh, in terms of like dealing with, uh, like, I guess Heartless. Um, in terms of, um, like, multiple groups of Heartless. We are going to be getting Thunder um, in the next world, but it's still good because it doesn't, it only costs that one, you know, that little bit of MP. Alright, so now that we have that potion, we're going to use this potion on this flower, and what we're going to do is, um, okay, so we're going to throw this boulder into the water here, and that will actually extend those lily pads. Unfortunately, we actually can't really do anything with those until we get high jump, but it's still something we should keep in mind. Other than that, though, I'm still going to keep that bush over there. I'm not going to move it yet. I'm going to attack this. I'm going to take this, and then I'm going to attack it again, and then I'm going to eat this, just so that I can turn it. So yeah, 
That's that's the one thing I wanted to do. Um, man, Blizzard makes dealing with Ragnarok just so much easier though. I'm not gonna lie. See ya. Um, as for this, we already did that. Um, let's see here. Alright, so you know what? I'm going to... Oh, shoot, this this is different now. I think that entrance might be different now. <laughs> I might need to use a potion again in order to activate that. It's fine, I, I was going to have to use two potions anyway, I think, kind of. Or, I, I eh, never mind. It's fine. <laughs> Alright. Deep freeze! So, over here, this faucet over here, um, we actually want to turn this, and then that will actually take that entrance over there. That's actually a shortcut that will allow us to go back to the Queen's area. Um, if we go here, this is another, this is an exit to the Bizarre Room. Um, I feel like I haven't had like the best drops with uh, with uh, just with lucid charms in general, even though they're relatively common material in this game. I know I could always just wait till later to get them. Also, thank you, Goofy. Yeah, party members do good damage in this game. Oh! Yeah, that 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 makes that pop up. Um, this is the exit if you want to leave. Go back to the Lotus Force. Actually, where does this exit me to? This exits me through here. Oh, okay, so I don't need to turn the tree again. Never mind. Yeah, I, I don't have to do that. Oh! Mushrooms! Those are now here. Okay, I'm gonna just use... Uh, you know what? I have a camping set. Now I can actually get two mushroom drops and start getting a few mystery goos, so I might as well. Um, but you want to be quick with the mushrooms. You don't want to wait too long because then they will do your spawn. Um, camping set. Yes, we'll use that. Alright. So, uh, you want to use three of the same magic in order to get a higher rate of mystery goo drops. But there's also important kind of accessories that you can get. Or not accessories, they're like little prize items, kind of. It's a pretty unique mechanic to this game that you get. Um, so yeah, uh, you want to try and get those if, if you, for 100% completion. It's not like required required, but I will be getting those. Um, that means he wants thunder, which is not possible yet. Man, sorry, I, I don't want to, I want to get the fire one. Yeah, that can make it a little tricky, because sometimes they will like literally just not decide to do it. Um, and they will just disappear after some time. So, yeah. Can you get cold again? There we go. See ya. And with that, you can actually do a little attack here to recover a little bit of extra MP. A little, like, neat tech. And with that, we got a fire arts. No mystery goo drop, but it is higher. It is higher if you use the same magic over and over again. Right now, we have two types of magic, so I'm going to be trying to get the different arts. Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm going to try and get the different arts as I gain magic, but it depends on the world. Alright, we're going to have to get those guys to respawn. I should be able to actually try and respawn the heartless, the, the shadows now. But yeah. Um, I actually wanted to go back to that version of the, uh, of the Bizarre Room real quick, actually. Deep freeze. Deep freeze. And over here, we can actually get into the Queen's Castle. And this is a gummy piece, isn't it? It's a meteorology, which, I mean, we will be able to use it. I will be probably adding it to my gummy ship. It's basically a laser gummy ship instead of a cannon gummy ship of the part. All right, so that's that. Let's try and, uh, you know what? Let's see if we can get the shadows respawn again real quick. Also, that vase sort of thing is now filled up. Now, once we get high jump, we'll actually be able to jump into it. There we go. Okay. I don't know why. Like, going to the world map also didn't work for some reason. I, I really do why, honestly. I am curious, though. I just wanted to check. 
I want to check. Wait, where does this lead you in the Bizarre Room? Oh, this is another version of the Bizarre Room. Okay. Uh, I wasn't necessarily trying to go here, but it's fine. Um... Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. I'm not, I'm not trying to die. light these up, can't we? Yes, we can. Okay. Um, so... Sorry, I'm just trying to... Alright, so you actually want to hit this teddy bear over here. Um, that actually solves a little bit of a puzzle there. And lighting this up over here will unlock the painting. And then lighting this up over here will actually unlock the chest with a defense up, I'm pretty sure. Yep, a defense up. Alright, so this will actually take us to the Lotus Forest here. And this is the white train, we can't do that yet. These two flowers, though, we can deal with. I- it hurts using Elixir here, but I mean, I don't really have a choice, huh? So, yeah. Here. Oh, we got a Mithril Shard for that, which isn't the worst trade-off, but still. And you want a potion. And for that, we get a high potion. That's fine. Um, so yeah, this we're gonna need thunder for. We're gonna have to come back to this world with thunder. And Travis Town as well, actually. See ya! Deep freeze! See ya! There, I don't think we can even get up there, even with high jump. But there are some secret exits that I want to try and Come on. Ooh, another Elusive Shard, nice. I'm, I'm still gonna be farming those, I'm just kinda like... It's a little bit... There's, oh, there's like a lot of things that got unlocked with that once, kind of. Um, so yeah. Um... See ya! Ha, ha, deep freeze! Okay, so... I'm gonna use the- if I use the books- whoa, whoa, whoa! Camera! Uh, the books over here lead me here. Okay, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. exit leads here. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. That makes sense, I guess. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to figure out where I kind of want to go. Um, this is Lotus Forest. Oh god, I spawned quite a bit of enemies, huh? Uh, dodge roll rolling in a corner is usually a good way to try and get enemies away from you for the most part. For the most part. For the most part. For the most part. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to, like, not panic here. Come on. Deep freeze. I do want to go back to the bizarre room. Um, but if I can get the mushroom heartless to respawn, that would be nice. Oh, okay. 
Mushroom Mario looks right back. Now I want to do Blizzard minigame. They freeze! Oh shoot, I'm not a fan. Whatever. This should help. They freeze! Thankfully, I've like been getting a decent amount of money, so I'm not too worried about my ether usage at this point. Like, if I use one here or there, it's, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, so yeah. All right, there we go. Um, even though it's not necessary, I still like doing that. And for that, we got the Blizzard Arts. So we got both the Arts that we can get at this point. Obviously, we'll be getting more as there are six magic spells in this game, but yeah. Alrighty, so now that we have that bear, by the way, we can actually do a few things here. So, we can actually read this book over here, and something stuck inside. And we got a Mithril Shard. Other than that, if you read this again, it'll just say, nothing with bonus was written. Anyways, do you, if, if you move this bear here, then you'll be able to move this clock. Like that. And now you'll be able to enter that area. Um, actually, we haven't entered the tea party room yet. Hopefully that doesn't cause any secrets break or anything. Oh god, <laughs> I kind of sequence broke this. It's fine, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, we weren't really supposed to be enter this room here, but it's fine. For that, we got a dark matter. And we can actually mess around with these chairs a little bit, actually, but I'll be doing that later. Oh, I just remembered. I almost missed a trinity. A blue trinity over here. If we go over here... Oh god. Oh, um, so yeah, over here, there's a blue trinity. Shock me. By the way, we have to, we have to shock that flower if it wasn't already obvious. Um, oh god. We're just listening to Queen's Castle. Oh, okay. If we go here, this will actually lead us here and we get 13 14 and 15 Dalmatians have returned home you could always just access that with high jump but you know so that blue trinity contains a camp set. <laughs> you want a high potion okay this should help and for that, we get a Mega Potion. Cool. Hey, there we go. Oh, that's the last loser chart. Ooh, that was quite the grind there. That was like a good, I think, 40 minute grind. We did it. So yeah, now I have a total of 37 loser chart, which is how many I need. Honestly, a majority of those are used for the dark matters. You have to synthesize, which is kind of funny. Um, so yeah. Um, you know what? I actually want to save my MP here, but whatever. Might as well take out this large body. Since you get some pretty good, uh... Experience, but not experience. I'm playing on level one. Uh, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Another thing is, I got a decent amount of money while grinding there, and I think I sh also have some new stuff. Oh, you know what? I'll give this to Donald, and I'll give this to Donald, and I'll give this to Goofy, and I'll give that to Goofy. There we go. All right. So over here, you want to pay attention here. A very merry unbirthday. Sit down to get your present. So you want to sit in specific spots, and then you'll actually get presents. Which are like actual items, which is pretty neat. So this is an elixir. I wish all of them were elixirs, but they're not all elixirs, unfortunately. Um, this one is is for sure a uh, a mob fight. Some will actually start a mob fight. Yep, the cake will start a mob fight there. Um, so yeah, just just keep that in mind. This is a pretty neat secret that this world has, along with the flowers, obviously. Um, but yeah. After that happens, simply exit and then you can come back in and you can start sitting on chairs again. Alrighty. Um, right here, I think this is actually like an ether or something. Maybe? I don't fully remember, sorry, it's, it's kind of hard to fully remember. Um, potion, okay. Now this pink chair just looks, it just looks like, I don't know why, it just always looks sus to me. Um, but yeah, this one has a large body, I think, in it, this mob fight. 
Donald, do another. Yep. Yeah. See, if you learn how to control your party members, that actually helps a lot on level one as well, because your party members are pretty good in this game in terms of their damage output. Okay, so that's out of the way. Now let's sit on the metal chair. Let's see what this does. Good, that wasn't sus. Nice. <laughs> um, Neither. Nice. I think beginner mode speedruns. Uh, level one, I know, does the uh, elixir for sure. But I think beginner mode goes for the ether montage. Oh, nice. That is a potion. Neat. And this is definitely a fight. There's no way they're gonna give us that much. Come on. Oh wait! Oh, there are only two fights. Okay, I don't fully remember. I guess. Sorry, it's, it's kind of hard to remember. So yeah, all these things are done. That's all the presents. Yeah. So that's, that's that's a little neat thing that this world has. I think it's just a little cool Easter egg. Anyways, we're gonna go here into this version of the bizarre room. They're hiding somewhere, and the mama rats outgrab outgrab. Want to find the shadows? Try turning on the light. All right, so. There's mob fight here. With good, precise platforming, you can avoid it. Um, honestly, the only troubling enemy here, <laughs> more lucid charts. I'm gonna want as many of those as possible, because um, I'm gonna need them later on as well. Uh, I'm gonna have to probably synthesize. I might actually end up having to synthesize a power up or two. I might end up in this series, so yeah. Oh, nice knee for a drop. It's always nice. Um, any other enemies? I just want to kind of clear them out. Alright, so. Um, you can jump off this little stone chimney area and then you can go land here. And then that will actually make that plant a lot bigger. It's too dim, make it brighter. What next? One more lamp you need to light. Oh man, I wanna go grab, you know what, I'm gonna go grab that right now. All right, so you can easily exit this area with this Queen's Castle shortcut. Whoops. See ya. Alrighty, so if you examine this plant over here, then you get a missile shard and two potions. So I think that's just a, like a little neat thing. I think some speedruns actually do that. Anyways, you can easily get out of here, go back to the tea party garden like this. Also, I don't think I'm gonna be showing off that entire segment of me grinding the Lucian shards, because it's one, it's gonna be a pain for me to go through and see where I found all the jobs. It's like a decent amount of footage. And two, um, it, it's like actually a lot. So it's like, it's pretty obvious how I grinded for them. I don't think it's that special. I just kept going back and trying to reset the special heartless and that's how I got them. Red Nocturne's good dog. Alright. So, you can actually grab onto this. And you can do a little trick, I think. Oh, damn it. You can, like, dodge roll between it. Hold on, let's see if I can actually do it. It's harder in 60 FPS. Okay, never mind, you can do that. <laughs> or you could just jump like a normal person. All the lights are on. You'll see the shadows soon. They'll arise in this room, but somewhere else. The shadows might go after that doorknob, too. That's actually a really... So we have to go... That's a really neat hint. We actually have to go back to the upright version of the bizarre room. But, guys, I think this is actually a really good time to wrap it up for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys aren't already following me on Twitch, make sure you do that. Twitch.tv slash DataZemnus. I stream Kingdom Hearts level 100% playthroughs in Nintendo game. I stream starting between 5 and 7 p.m. EST on weekends, so definitely make sure to check that out. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and your continued support, and I'll see you guys all later.